Hello everyone, my squad. My name is Ian and I am back. Well, four notices for today, so let's get going. First of all, Union Cross with Balloon, Donald and Goofy. This is going to last up until May 16th and we have to defeat the Gummy Hound to get the Balloons, Jewels, Chips, Dales, Magic Mirrors and Huey Dewey Lewis. No brooms yet and you'll see why. So we have Path and if and... If we complete all the paths, we can get 800 jewels. Ooh, 800. That's quite a lot of jewels. Okay, I'm going to try this. Uh, so that we have 9, 10 boards to complete. This is going to take quite a lot of grinding. So, Donald and Goofy give a rare enemy perk of plus 2. That's basically it. Next up... We have the Mickey and Minnie and Pluto high score challenge, which I predicted correctly. I mean, well, there was data mine and they found these medals in the game, so we can get the Mickey and Minnie mouse medal and the Pluto B medal. Now, Mickey and Minnie is a power up right tier 4, which deals 5 hits, lowers target defense by 2 tiers for 1 turn, inflicts more damage once that is lost in the slot 3, single target that costs 2. This is an amazing medal for Proud Quest and Proud Mode in general if you are fighting really high level enemies because general defense plays a huge role in that. So the general defense down for the whole turn, unlike Silver B which is just for his attack, helps out quite a lot in a lot of different setups, especially on the Fenrir Keyblade which is coming out soon. Pluto B is a upgraded magic tier 3 that raises power based defense by 2 tiers for 1 turn, moderately recovers HP, hits all cost 3. He's the same thing as Alice and Cheshire Cat and the Pooh Bear medal. So he's good, but Vaxxon B. Actually, no. Pluto B might be the most useful because Vaxxon B doesn't outmatch him. Vaxxon B doesn't raise power based defense by 2 tiers. If you manage to get him with extra attack, he is better than Vex and B. So, the percentage medals are Illustrated Roxas, AG Namine, Illustrated Ventus, Ansem, Lucifer, and Lady Tremaine and Daughters. So, yeah, no free play medals for anyone. Next up, we have the Falling Price deal. Oh, if you, if you hear me sniffing, it's because I caught a cold, but colds don't bother me. No one cares about colds. So, this deal is interesting. This introduces two new tier 5, which is Illustrated Roxas and HD Namine. HD Namine is a unique metal that copies the special attack of the metal immediately after it. The extra attack trait on HD Namine is also quite powerful, since both the original and extra special attack can copy the next metal special attack. And the tier 3's are Anson, Lady Tremaine, Dars, and Lucifer. So, a Illustrated Roxas is a speed upright that costs 4. Is a tier 5, he deals 5 hits, raises speed based strength by 3 tiers for 1 turn, inflicts more damage the more gauges are full. This is quite weird, his... the meaning, because he costs 4, so he will use a lot of gauges, which is quite weird. Maybe they are wanting us to put SP2 and Attack plus 3 Max on him, but sincerely, even in Japan, I didn't see many people use him. And the song of him is his theme. Next up, HD Namne. Unleashes the same- oh yeah. Magic Upright, tier 5, cost 0. This is the main thing about HD Namne. Unleashes the same special attack as the next metal. Works only one set before a metal. Note, fails if fused as a friend metal, or if no metal set afterward. Next, so here's the deal, multiplier, oh wait, no no, it's target, target is the next metal targets, single if the special attack fails. This is how HD Namina works, let's suppose you have a Molesson B after her, and your HD Namina is guilted, you use HD Namina, she costs zero. She will have the same multiplier the moment you use her as Maleficent B. She will act like Maleficent B. With one big difference. Since she is a tier 5, the up the percentage goes up. So with Maleficent B, the 3.36 multiplier plus 
100% equals 6.72 and with HD Namine you can you have plus 50% she's guilted over the 3.36 so it's 150 it would be the same thing as if my lesson B was a tier 5 so you can have a so she is amazing for that matter alone she's really great on counterpoint uh three wishes and mainly on starlight on the last slot so that you can copy your friend metal abilities so you can have much more diversity hd namne is a metal that would be that would deserve the ability attack boost three max and lux plus she can copy any metal in the game no matter the tier no matter the ability she is amazing next up lady tremaine and daughters it's a magic reversed it's, it's tier 3, call 3, attacks all enemies, lower strength of all targets by 1 tier for 2 turns. Interesting, but I don't think it's really useful. Next up, Lucifer. Speed reverse, tier 3, cost 0, single target. Raises strength by 2 tiers for 1 turn, and lowers defense by 2 tiers for 1 turn. Uh, this isn't the, the enemy's defense, this is your defense. So Lucifer is a double-edged sword. He does raise your strength, and he is reversed, which is something that reverse metals don't do. They don't buff your general strength, but he lowers your own defense, so that's something you need to watch out for. However, I am tempted to do a poll to get him, because you know we need some reverse metals in proud mode. And next up, Ansem. Power reversed, tier 3, cost 4, hits all enemies. Deal 7 hits, and fix a, a fixed amount of damage regardless of the target's defense. He's probably the least useful. He's good for fixed damage, but that's it. For fixed damage, I would suggest uh, Tyree or Young Zehanort. Young Zehanort will be a future high score challenge medal. I'll show you an image of him right now. Now, this draw is interesting because every time you draw, the price lowers. So, here we go. First draw is 3,000 jewels as normal. Second, 2,500. Third, 2,200. Fourth, 2,000. Four, fifth draw onward, 1,900 jewels. So, yes, they, this draw is really interesting because we this was never before on a draw. And if you receive HD Name or Illustrated Roxas, they will be strengthened to 3 dots. If you get a boosted HD Name or HD Roxas, they will have plus 1,000 more base strength and defense. While this year's tier 3s only have 1000 base strength. This doesn't have a guarantee within X turns, so yeah. And here are, are all the tier 5s and 4s that we have on this draw. Now, this is the last draw. And something really different. So, Ventus and Magic Broom deal. This is why Ventus is a percentage medal in this high score challenge. So, this lasts up until April 30th. And this, every time you draw, you get 1 Illustrated Ventus, 9 Tier 3s, and 1 Magic Broom. This is basically to try to get your money if you pay it, or to try to get your jewels. I'm not sure if this is good. I'm, I, I don't think so, because you can get, you can do this pull up to 3 times a day. This is great for people that have Illustrated Ventus or want a Illustrated Ventus Guilted. However, besides that, I don't think this deal is worth it. Illustrated Ventus is a good metal, sure, he has a really high multiplier, but I'm not sure if you should spend 3000 jewels on this banner. Now, I was trying a build Mickey Mini High Score Challenge, I didn't finish it, but let's play it, let's try the High Score Challenge. I already did a setup which has plus 28% of boost. Now, my setup has please don't, Illustrated Ventus and Illustrated Ventus as the buffers. And if you remember, I actually pulled two Illustrated Ventuses from the high, from the anniversary planners. Now, this is a choose your way high score challenge as you may have noticed, but make sure to defeat the enemies here first. I am using Tyree so that I can defeat them, do the most damage within one hit. So, I'm going to obviously go on the magic path. 
And I found something really interesting about my Ventus. If you remember, he has an aerial enemy defense minus 60%. You'll see how that's important soon. Now, up from here is when we, I can start using my Magusha B. So, we tap here, tap here, use Sebastian, tap here, and use Marley B. This is just so we can maximize our score. And 100,000. So, yeah, Marley he is still too strong for the high score challenges. On this one, I'll try to use both of them and see if it works. The problem is Ventus. Let's have here. Okay, wasn't enough to kill them. Let's use Marley B. Wizards. These aren't really hard either. Don't if you have Tyree like me, don't use her yet. Wait for the next enemies. And tap. And as you may have noticed, Ventus is doing 5,000 damage outside of a colored spot. I didn't even give him chips or dales. So, this is the thing about aerial enemy minus 60%. He can do some damage even outside the multiplier. So this is quite a good trait. If you have, if there, there will be medals with three tra three trait slots. Wow. Like the Tsum Tsum medals. On these ones, if you were able to pull a lot, I would suggest Ground enemy defense minus 60% and aerial enemy defense minus 60% and extra attack. The minus 60% on the enemy deals. It has a tremendous difference. Only Ventus, he, he. Look at this flower. I am going to tap here with Ventus, okay? I'm going to tap. 94 damage. If this was an aerial enemy, it would have been around 5,000 damage. So This is quite a strong skill. I am not going to lie to you guys. It is a strong skill And there aren't really many enemies in this high score challenge So this is something you don't need to worry about You can bring in your strongest AOE metal or single target and you are good I'm going to try another setup after this one but for now, let's just try to finish this in one run. And this is going quite well. Next up we have a Dark Plant. On this one, I will use HD Ventus for his debuffing. So let's go. And go Ventus, go. Yeah, one damage. Obviously. And now Marley B. Now. Either defense boost two triggers or the attack boost three on this Ventus triggers, and I'm fine. So let's go. The attack boost is triggered, so I think I'm fine. Yep, I'm fine. Okay, good. If it did, if it wouldn't have triggered, I would have needed defense boost two to trigger. So as you can see, the portal is already here. So the last enemy we have in our way is this copter fleet. It's a level 500 copter fleet, so make sure to bring your strongest single target or AOE. I'm going to try another setup after this. I think it will work out quite well. So let's go. And see HD Ventus, it was HD Ventus, what? It was really Ventus already did 1,500 damage and he's not on a color slot. So this trait is actually quite useful. I would suggest it if you need just pure attackers. If you want a pure attacker with no extra attack and he's a tier 4 or 5, maybe try getting these two skills on them. This is really strong and it's probably even stronger than 1000 strength, extra attack and damaging rates. This is quite a strong skill. And on this one I need defense booster to trigger all three or else I'm dead. Okay, please, I actually survived, I have no idea, well, since I survived this, well, I think if I completed this high score challenge, okay, go, Ventus, go, 1,400, see, this, this is just amazing, and go, Margusha, boom, they're dead, 6 million points, Okay then, let's go. And what's the target? A shadow. Well, I'm gonna use Tyree anyway. Go Tyree, go. 
And we did, we did. We beat this high score challenge already. On the first run. So, yeah, and this already has 28% extra. So if you want to calculate how much is without percentage, just take out 28%. And let's see what we get. Quite a lot of medals here. So we got... Uh, Chips, Deus, Magic Mirror, Chip, Deus, Sid, Magic Mirror, two Magic Mirrors, one Pluto B, Huey Dewey Louie, another Deo, another Chip, another Pluto B, Huey Dewey Louie, another Pluto B, Huey Dewey Louie, Magic Mirror, another Pluto B, and two Huey Dewey Louies. So I already got all four Pluto Bs. Wait, what? I... wait. What's the max cap point? The max... Score I can get. Now I'm curious. Okay, let's check. So rewards. Let's see which one is the maximum? Eight million, which is two Mickey and Minis. Wow, consider I got six million. That's not bad. But how could I get two more million? Maybe I can get this with the correct percentage medals. Oh, but I will need an Illustrator Roxas or HD Namine on my on my setups. Dang it. Okay. Wait, what? 484? How am I in 484th place? I only have 28%. Wait, wait, let me take a look at these people here. Gilded Taurus, Gilded Gear 5, wait, this is what you're talking about, eh? Uh, let's take a look at this one. HD Nominee, Sora, Gilded Gear 5, Gilded Tyrus 2 Traits. Let's take a look at this one. Gilded World of Final Fantasy Yuna, Shion, Carol with 2 Dots, Gilded Illustrator, wait, what? How, how did these people? Managed to get a lower, a, a high score than me, actually a score on the same as me, with these medals. They have much better medals than me. Is it the old method? I think it's the old method. Okay, let's take a look at this. Oh, this one, nothing. Okay, no stats. Okay, this is interesting. So this girl has TR5, with 72 race plus 40%, that's actually like 3 max. A Kyrie, with extra attack, obviously. An illustrator has two stars, Yilton. And it... Ah, this song. Rocks is thing. Why? Ah. Okay, this she has a an illustrated Roxas with attack boost four. Wow, and it's boosted. Ah, it's, it's just so sad. And she has HD Namine with her team. Wait, imitation cost down two. Ooh, guys, we might be getting Oogie Boogie soon. He's the imitation only. Okay. Let's take a look at the third place. Only HD Namine, and she probably copies and Illustrated Roxas. Let's take a look at the fourth. I'm, ju I'm just... Oh, this brings destruction to a whole new level. Wow. <laughs> Well, if you want a destruction on a setup, here's a setup about destruction. Uh, wow. Okay, this one isn't using a high score challenge setup. This one is preparing a setup right now. No high score challenge setup on this one. No, he's not a high score challenge. He's probably going to put HD Nomina in this lot. It wouldn't make sense to not put her in there. And 10th place. Guilted Card 5. With extra attack. Congratulations on that. Uh, 460th, 484th place. I already fell a little, but... Holy crap. I wasn't expecting this. Now, guys. What I'm going to do... I think I am going to do a poll... Because I want wheels for really bad. And also I want to see if I can increase my high score. Now. I'm going to do a setup right here. Right now. On. Lady Luck. Yes I know. It's not a really strong keyblade. 
But here's what I'm planning on doing. Keyart 5 is going to go in the first lot. Arthur! Illustrated Vince is coming here. If I get Lucifer, Arthur! I'll put him in this lot. Then I'll have Tyree over here. And I'll have Marluxia on this lot. This is just so Ventus can do some damage. This might work out pretty well, even though Marluxia is on 0.50 less strength. But yeah, I am going to try to do a poll at this. Today my, is my, 100, 300, my day 310, so hey, I might get lucky. But yeah, guys, um, I think I'll do the, them right now after I record this. And if I get something good, I'll also, re I'll also record it. So, yeah, for now, this video is ending here. Thank you everybody so much for watching, guys. I hope you have a good day. I hope you do end this high score challenge. And don't be mad about the Bruno situation. They're going to add a free-to-play play, free play way probably on, on Monday. Because Monday is the beginning of the month. And we'll get the Col new Colosseum. So, yeah, guys, thank you everybody so much for watching. And I hope you have a good day. See ya! Get down, you